I pull up to her house. I've got an announcement. <gasps> the skin looks glowy, doesn't it? What is up everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. Get ready to, I say get ready, but like I already got ready. This is the look. But we are going to a Super Bowl party. It's also a Super Bowl birthday party uh, for one of my colleagues that actually live in Charlotte. I'm just excited to get out of the house, socialize a little bit, get a bottle of wine that I really, really love. When I tell you Chef's Kiss, this wine is chocolate wine. I've, I first had it when I was in college, but like when I tell you, it hits, it, it hits just the same. It hits just the same. I'm so excited about it. Okay, I did not do my best to get B-roll while I was in there, but it is what it is. I got the wine and I got a little, I was like, while I was there, I saw a little um, cheers bag. I thought that'd be cute. Like it's the first time I ever going to her house and it's also her birthday. So I think it'd be like a nice little thing and I thought it was cute. So um, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's cute. We'll do it. I'm a big sucker for, you know, aesthetic and presentation and, the better something looks put together, the happier I am. Okay, fur coat. Oh wait, is this not fur? It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Probably dying. <laughs> It's giving 80s vibes. So sports. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm at a soft light, and I do apologize about the brightness. The skin looks glowy, doesn't it? It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new day, and I'm gonna do my best to be kind of positive because today, this week, so far, has been a very big up and down roller coaster. I'm on my way to my parents' house. I am going to be working from their house today because my dad is going to be taking me to South Carolina because I'm going to be picking up a item from Facebook Marketplace. Now you may ask, Victoria, why are you picking up something from Facebook? Blah, blah, blah. Why are you picking up something from Facebook Marketplace? Well, I've got an announcement and I'm in this weird place about it. I, in two, maybe a little over two months, I will be moving out of living with someone else and living in my own apartment. I'm super excited because I've been wanting to live alone for the past two years. <laughs> um, while I've been living with my roommate, while overall she's been a good roommate, I also recognize there are some things where I would like to just be on my own for the time being. The reason I've been holding off is because your girl doesn't have the best credit. Because of that, I have put off applying but i was actually just at my friend's apartment complex and i've been there a couple times i like it it's in the area where i grew up so i'm very familiar with it and i was like what if i just what if we just toured while i was there like what if we just toured the apartment and she's like you know what yeah i don't care and so we toured it the property manager was really nice and um usually you should look into multiple apartment complexes that's like usually the rule i will say i did look into other apartment complexes like i did some research online but um i didn't go physically tour any other place mainly because again i wasn't even sure if i was going to get approved um so i was like i just just toured it i was like you know what <clears throat> i had just gotten paid it was like 65 dollars for your application fee why the heck not so i put it in and uh, i got approved now like i said i don't have the greatest credit because your girl has 
had bad luck with credit cards. Let's just say that, okay? Okay. I was approved, but with conditions, so I'm just going to have a higher security deposit. I will say, if I had knew, like, officially, because I've had some friends in my family tell me, you would probably still get approved, you're just gonna have to pay more money. I have them tell me that, but, like, I wasn't, like, sh sure about it, right? Like, I wasn't like, I don't know. This sounds real sus. Why would they take me? You know, I'm not sure. But at the same time, it's like, as long as you can prove that you're gonna pay rent, like, I, I understand why they would. I don't think it means you're it's necessarily guaranteed to still get approved, but depending on the area, depending on the type of apartment, like, even though it's a nice apartment complex, it's not like a, one of the luxury apartments. Now it means that your girl can move out. My plan, this is my plan, I'm saying this because I, don't know how I'm gonna feel in a month and I don't know if it gets so hectic I'm not gonna want to record it but I definitely do kind of I want to record it especially just want to share you with you guys if you're looking for an apartment or if you're in a similar situation as me like maybe you had poor credit and you don't the confidence to actually move out or one of the two one one of them there's so many reasons for there I definitely want to uh, record it to share my experience but also to look back on it like this is my first apartment this is an apartment to myself Okay, and I could hate it. I could love it. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm gonna love it too much and I'm not gonna want to move with my boyfriend But like we'll cross that bridge if we have to come to that Yeah, but you guys I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So back to Facebook marketplace I found some really cool pieces on Facebook marketplace. I've already got a bed frame. I picked it up for free um, I did have to drive to Winston-Salem. Yeah, yeah at like uh, sucks it's six o'clock at night but it's fun and then the pieces that i'm picking up today one of them is a dining room table and it's really really cool because it's unique and it's just uh i would say it's it's, it's so it's so cool i love the way it looks and i feel like it's gonna fit with the vibe that i'm trying to go for the other piece that i'm hopefully picking up that one I'm not 100% sure like it should be happening but you guys I did just have an experience last night where I will tell you in a second it's a cool bookshelf and it's so so cool and I already know where I wanted to go so I've got two he's gonna be taking us to South Carolina we're gonna be stopping and picking it up and um, that's the hope that's the goal I'm really really excited just because I think they're gonna be so cool and again I'm moving out I'm finally moving out so I'm just so excited to be finally doing my own thing truly you guys already know like I love solo things I love solo traveling I love doing things by myself living with someone has been all right um, I think it's harder when you don't have the same mindset on how to how living life you know like my roommate's a very social person I'm not <laughs> and nothing wrong with that I can be social just not all the time so the experience for facebook marketplace long story short because this clip is already so long i had put a uh, offer in like hey i can pick this up tonight and uh she was like okay awesome she sent me her address and everything and then um she sent me a message sold but i didn't think it was sold like sold from her like i thought it was just like an automatic message from like facebook because i thought she sold it to me like why are you here oh, i'm working here today are you about to leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. I pull up to her house. I text her. She doesn't answer. Doesn't even read my message. Uh, and then I go up there to her house. Like, I knock. Her husband comes down. Tell me why. She's already sold it. She's already sold it. And so that's what she, that she truly meant sold. And I think I'm what I'm pissed more about is like, why couldn't you have been more specific? You can have at least said sold to someone else. Sold, like I gave it to someone else sold but to another person i don't know but it was just like saying sold like because i'm pretty sure i had another message happen like that when i picked up the bed frame so i'm just confused um and i'm not used to facebook marketplace if that's the way things go that's a crappy way that things go like i understand if it's first come first serve but i also think if you're gonna let me if you're gonna agree to give me something why not wait I have the money like maybe I could have gave you more than um, you were asking for but you just automatically gave it to someone else and you couldn't properly disclose that I don't know I'm it wasn't that far but it was still um, a wasted 40 minutes for me well a total 30 minutes maybe but still that's a waste of my time I was very upset anyways I gotta get inside start setting up because I do start work at 9 
So let me go do that. This boy really just laid down inside. Like he just came home working a hard, hard job, been on the field all day. <laughs> been laying down all morning sir 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 okay so just finished the work day it's a crisp 5 30 we are getting ready to go so i'm really excited both of them have checked in with me today it seems like we're still good i'm so excited okay yes mm -hmm. we're doing it we're doing it we're doing this We did it! Okay, so it's home. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So it definitely has, like it has some scratches on it. Um, and I think there's like a little ring here. Not sure if that comes off or not, but you, can, you can't even really see it. And I think it's a little chipped on there, but it gives it a little character, you know? Um, it is a little wobbly but it's not that bad in my opinion. My dad thinks he can glue it and kind of hammer it back. So I'm trusting him with that <laughs> and we'll see. But I, oh my gosh, you guys. And when you see what my apartment looks like, I feel like I'm just doing an empty tour and you guys are gonna see, I, I, I'm just, I'm so sure. I'm so sure you're already gonna know where I'm gonna wanna put this, but it's just like, it's gonna fit so perfectly in the space. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited. This is so beautiful. And over here, we've got the dining table. So I don't know why I thought this was gonna be like fully wood, but it's like wood combined with like metal trim. So it's like, that's not a problem. Like this is true. This is my first dining room table and I only got it for 85 bucks. If I had kept looking, I probably could have found a cheaper wood table that's also a little bit smaller because I don't need a big table. But when I saw the trim on this, I don't know. There was just something that was kind of like just giving about it. Like I really like the design of it. I don't know, it's unique. And like, I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm trying to go for right now. Having pieces with character. I love a good basic as the other, the next girl or next person regardless, but there's just something about having something that's like not a lot of other people have or that's truly your own and unique and that has a story and whatnot like regardless i love it it does have a couple of like little scratches on it um and some stains but again i got it you use i got it for a good price and now i have a dining room table so i'm really excited i think the only thing that i need for this now is you know to get chairs to go with it but that's not a necessity to get right now i can wait and just because i i don't want to spend more than 30 to 40 bucks on chairs for the table so I'm like trying to even out to like 110 total for it um but it's really spacious and i think it's just gonna be great oh your girl is getting an apartment and this is the first step oh my gosh i'm, I'm just i'm just so excited i it's been a long time coming um oh, yes <laughs> So just left my parents' house. I'm on my way to pick up my boyfriend. Um, he's getting off work soon, so we're, he's, he's gonna come over. We're going to have a, I mean, just essentially a chill night. <laughs> Hi. Hold on, there's food here. We're going to build this bouquet of roses from Lego. We've been building a lot of Legos over the past couple of months, but look how pretty this is. Granted, Valentine's Day was two not two weeks ago last week um but it's still you know the month of love so they're transitioning from plastic to paper mm -hmm. hmm. that was in the wally one was it mm -hmm. it had like two of the things were in paper things Ooh, okay hold on a millennia ago aphrodite the ancient greek goddess of love was said to be so beautiful that roses would rise to greet her wherever she appeared ever since then red roses have been shared as symbols of love with 
their beauty, delicate scent, and lush velvety petals. A gift of roses always makes your loved one feel special and cherished on a romantic first date, Valentine's Day, anniversary, birthdays, and memorable milestones and moments we share. <clears throat> Again, my favorite flower is a rose. Okay, so you see how this was here? Mm -hmm. This is how you're supposed to build it, and then it's telling you to twist it. Oh. Yeah. I was like, that's weird. This looks like a little robot. <laughs> a robot. <laughs> We've got a rose stem. He did his first before me. Oh, we did them at the same time. Yeah, you just finished first. <laughs> <laughs> is it supposed to spin like that? Yeah. It's not supposed to like be secured or anything. I tried pushing it as much as I could. It kind of looks like a bat. I'm not gonna lie. Voila. We have an update. And she got her eyes back. Okay, hold on. No, because I'm gonna explain that. Okay. So. If oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was still on. Do you know how you say it? I think it's hilarious, and I think Proceed. it's. Oh, seed. I love you. So I say, I, <laughs> I say, um, T whenever I think something's interesting, no matter the situation. I don't know how I started saying that, but I do. And <laughs> he was telling me that at work, he said that to a coworker. Uh, babe. What? Did you make them? They're full length, you got a lot of space. Yeah, I did. See? Uh huh, seven. And the ones I made the first time were eight. So that would mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know. Well, I did my part. I made four. Thank you very much. He's finishing the last set. These look really pretty. I don't know what these are supposed to be like. Like, what is it? Baby. Baby breath. That's it. So the fake roses are done. You can see the fan spinning on them. They look really nice. I did my best to match the bouquet, but I don't have a big enough vase. We're gonna work on getting one of those, but it's cool. It was very repetitive, but I mean, it's pretty. I mean, they did a really like a thorough job of making sure that once everything gets together, it, it does look like petals. And that's why it's so repetitive. This is just building out layer by layer, but the end result is really nice. Yeah. Like I could totally see someone having to do a double take to realize, is that Lego? <laughs> <laughs> it looked really nice. Yeah.